Hello friends, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in yesterday's video, we have seen that what are file structures of our Django project and app and what that what is the meaning of files, those files. Okay. So in today's video, we are going to see views. What are views and how we can create views. So there are two ways to create views. First is class based view and second is function based view. So first we are going to see function based view, then we will see class based view. So here I have opened my views.py which is in our app folder main and I will write our function here. So def home and by default it will take request as a parameter. So here I will return only HTTP response. So first I will need to uh, call that from Django HTTP. So from Django dot HTTP import HTTP response. Okay. Now here I will return that. So re return. HTTP response and here I will write hello world now as I told that if we create any view we need to call that view in our urls.py file so here I will import first our views so from main import views okay now I will call that here path here you will if you will view a uh, single quotation mark without writing any characters then it will count it as home page only okay then comma views dot our function name home comma and name this is home why the we, why we are including this name parameter we will see why we will connect our templates uh, for this video we are not going to connect any templates we are going to see concepts of our views and urls only so i have done this now i will run server the environment is automatically activated so python manage.py run server this will run server okay now i i press ctrl and click on this link then it will open up my link in the browser as you can see we have got hello world here now http response basically returns the text which you write in the parameter without connecting html templates okay now this http response also accepts html language for example if i write h1 tag okay and if I write hello world here, if I refresh here, then you will see Yeah, your server has been refreshed and you will see that we have got hello world in H1. Okay, but this is not appropriate method. We cannot do this every time. If we have more than a line of code, then this, is, this method is not convenient. So we will see our render in next lecture well, when we will connect our templates so here i am creating few more functions dev about sorry about request and return http response about a page okay now we need to again connect this about to our urls.py so make comma here and write path here i will write about underscore us slash and home sorry views dot about and name is equals to about okay now our server is rerunning and if i will write here slash about and slash sorry about us slash about us then it should redirect us to about us okay 
now i hope you got the idea but django can have multiple apps like we have created app main then we can have app like about us also about contact us etc right we can have plenty of apps but we cannot connect our urls every time in same urls.py it will get messy all urls will get mixed up okay so there is one another way that we can create our urls.py file in a main uh, in our app folder like right click here and create urls.py and now from here i will copy all these things and paste in our urls.py which we have created here and i will close this one now here i don't need this admin okay i don't need this path too now i have this much now if we create url py in our app folder then we need to include that file here which is more con we, i mean sorry not in use.py sorry sorry in urls.py which is project based which is in project based directory right now we will remove this and we will in import here one thing as include this. Here. yeah now i will write path here i will leave blank only because i want this as a home and include in single in double quotation i will write main dot urls now this means this will go to main folder and access our urls dot ui okay now if you come over here and refresh that again then you will see no error okay now what if i will write here as home home then it will give error why because if you want to access our home page then we need to type home slash and give enter sorry home only and we can give enter i hope you got the idea like if we will write your home then it should go to our slash home and slash home and it will access this main dot urls file here and it will see for the links it will see for the rash links okay this is it for today's video we have seen views how we can create view and we have seen urls.py that how we can cut create urls.py file in our app and connect to the project based urls.py file and in next video we will create our proper views and the urls that which type of functions we are going to create which type of views we are going to create for our blog website and then in and then we will link those in urls.py file so this tutorial was to explain uh the urls and uh, views thank you so much guys for watching this video if you like my videos please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time thank you